Thank you very much. Wow. Um, I, you know, I think it's really interesting how people can get in situations and it gains momentum. And days turn into weeks and weeks turn into months and you create this new normal. And when you're isolated, it starts to seem normal. And then I always am interested when people come here and they watch their lives on videotape and they see what's happening and they, I can't tell you how many times people have said, until I saw this, I never realized what it looked like because I'm living it. You know, I'm in it every day. And then when I get back and look at it, I realize how absurd it is. But were you surprised when you met the little boy? Because, I mean, you expect Damien, right? <laughs> and that's not the case. But they've defined this relationship in such a dysfunctional way, and he's gotten a bluff in on her. It's like he's the stake in the ground and she's the elephant. And she's, he's got her believing he has all of this power. Did any of you think that made sense for him? I mean, come on. She's buying him the video game. She's buying him all the accessories. She's, is that not, am I missing something? <laughs> I mean, really, I, I get dad has died. I get he had problems before that. I get all of that. But you've got to start with the basics, right? You've got to get back to zero. You don't reward bad behavior. You earn your privileges. And it starts with treating each other with dignity and respect. And if you don't do that, and you, know, you heard her say, I've given up. Like I could give her the best tool belt in the world, and if she's given up, it doesn't make any difference. So you know, everybody we have up here is a teaching tool. And so I'm hoping you know, people at home that have kids running rough, roughshod over them look at this and go, oh my God, that's me. And maybe that's more extreme than 90% of the situation. They'll say, I see myself in that story. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to stop letting my kids order me around and have me do this and that. We do have an entitled generation. But parents talk about kids as though they had nothing to do with how they are. Right? They created that. I, I, I don't get it. I just, I don't get it. You know, we all say that about the last generation, right? I mean, I walk to school both ways uphill. To <laughs> Everybody says that. I, did y'all get allowances when you were growing up? Did you get an allowance? I, I didn't get an allowance. I had a job and you brought the money home and you put it in the kitty, right? You didn't get an allowance. You brought your money home and put it in because you wanted electricity. That's what you did. I had a paper route and all that stuff when I was little. But I don't know, different day, different time, I know. I know.